make mistakes, and um, I'm not perfect, obviously. But and I'm even harsh on other people sometimes now. But I feel that I'm okay with God, and I try to do my best. And so, <clears throat> lots of ands here, and and. So, I, all those things considered, I feel that not being a jealous person and trying to be a strong person to support, and as an example of supporting the rights of others and myself, I feel is showing the life of a feminist. And I don't mean feminist like a man basher, because I, I appreciate men. I don't look down on men. I'm not a man hater. But... I, I, I anyway, I think that any woman, whether she's a stay-at-home mother and wants to be stay-at-home and even doesn't want to go to college, if that's what she wants to do, that's her right and she should be respected and valued for that. And if she goes to college and wants to be a CEO of a top Fortune 500 company, then that's her right and she should have every opportunity, hopefully, to achieve her goals without crushing the, the heads of other women, I, I guess. And um, I believe in animal rights. I sympathize with the suffering of animals. I try not to even kill really insects, which is sort of extreme, but if it's not necessary, I, I don't kill one. Sometimes it's, it just happens, you know, you're gardening or you're washing things off and that kind of thing. But every now and then, I mean, I try to take the insect outside and let it out to freedom. And, and I am vegan because I feel that it helps a little bit to eliminate some of the suffering of animals that are kept in unsafe conditions. I am not a hunter, and I've never really wanted to be with anybody who was a hunter. I always thought, like, I don't, I don't really support killing animals. And then, more recently, I've realized that, well, if you eat meat, sometimes hunting is the most humane way to obtain your meat, rather than you know, going out into the wild where they've been living free all day, or free all their life, and killing it quickly and making sure it doesn't suffer is a lot more humane than keeping a whole bunch of animals in a tightly confined pen with hardly anything, any breathing room, and then selling it in the market. So, you know, I kind of adjust my view a little bit on that and take it, you know, case by case. I don't believe in abortion, even in the case of, or I don't believe in abortion, and I, um, that is because even in a case of rape, of a woman, because, and the reason for that is that I feel that I really do believe that the fetus is an actual human being, and I, that's just, I've seen my own unborn child, and so well formed, and knowing that even Two months earlier, that child looked almost like, exactly like that, just a little bit smaller, with almost everything in place. It's a human being to me. So, I also, in line with how I view the rights of animals, I also respect the rights of human beings, including the rights of the unborn, and those who can't speak up for themselves. So, I'm sort of a, maybe, atypical feminist. And I was going to talk about the rape, but I'm going to save that for tomorrow because I need a little more time to gather my my thoughts and look up some laws so that I can share them for those women who might be watching. And 
I could also go into another woman that I worked for who was, um, her name was Lori Cartwright. She may have been connected to James Cartwright, who was someone that I met in D.C. He was the chief strategist for the Pentagon at the time, and which was sort of interesting. But at this time, I think I'm just knowing that there are um, prefacing, going, getting into a little bit more tomorrow. And I feel very good for anyone who's concerned about me. I'm slightly tired, but there's sort of ups and downs with fasting. You, know, you might feel really exhausted, and then you have a little bit of energy that, that picks you up again. And I think something that I've noticed, at least today, that was really, it stood out to me was, um, I haven't made this the most religious fast of my life. I mean, other times that I fasted, I really prayed and read my Bible a lot. And it was specifically for religion, religious reasons. And what I can say about this fast is that I feel better fasting and basically starving than I do eating and being tortured by the military because they've slacked off a little bit, they've given me a little bit of, um, they haven't tortured me as much in the last couple of days, which has been really nice. And the torture that I endure, Tolerable, and you know, you start getting almost accustomed to being tortured when it's not in a super extreme level, but kind of a medium, constant level. You start to feel that it, it affects everything that I do, it affects what I get done, it affects my motivation, my motive, my drive to study. I do feel better being weak from not eating than I do eating and feeling full and being tortured by this country. I think that's it for today, and I hope, thank you for watching and listening, and I hope that you are having a good evening or a day, and um, I hope that the weak are lifted up, and I hope that, that others come to their rescue. Thank you.